question for you. If microwave ovens literally heat up our food, and we know that microwaves are a type of electromagnetic radiation, then the question is, are microwaves dangerous? Are we in danger of giving ourselves cancer by constantly irradiating our food and then eating the food? Now, this is a drawing of the electromagnetic spectrum. It is true that all different wavelengths, different frequencies uh, that we have in the universe are all considered radiation, but basically the DNA in your body can only be altered or changed or, in other words, mutated in the sense of giving you cancer if the energy per photon is high enough to disrupt the chemical bonds in your DNA. The executive summary here is that in order to break a bond in your DNA and give you a mutation, then a photon would have to have an individual energy of somewhere around 10 electron volts. Uh, electron volt is just a unit of energy we use for vo photons because it's convenient at that scale. 10 electron volts. But the energy for a photon of microwaves that we have in our oven, each photon is about 0 0.0000001 electron volt. So it's literally thousands of times less energetic than the minimum required to alter any chemical bond in your DNA. Now let's dive into this a little bit further. Everything we see as visible light is a tiny band in the electromagnetic spectrum. The shorter wavelengths here, the gamma rays, very high energy x-rays, those things are above the threshold of what we call ionizing radiation that can cause problems. That's why you be careful when you're getting x-rays and other things. Ultraviolet right here is the very uh, threshold of giving you some problems with cancer, and so we worry about skin cancer and we wear sunblock. But for other wavelengths that are longer, the photon energies are just too low to ionize anything. Just to zoom in a little bit more, just on the other side of visible, we have infrared, which has lower energy per photon. Then we have microwave, even lower energy per photon. And then we have radio waves. And just so you know, radio waves can have wavelengths in the meter range and into the kilometer range. The microwaves in your oven have wavelengths that are on the order of centimeters or so. This is called Planck's relation. The energy per photon is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency, or you can just write the same thing in terms of wavelength, same deal. We can put the values of microwaves into this equation and get that energy per photon that I was mentioning earlier. Now, of course, if you were irradiated with microwaves, your body would heat up, but you wouldn't get a cancerous mutation. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.